Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the world wide web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're gonna to be doing a 360 virtual reality drive of the entire market, Frankfurt line. We're gonna be heading southbound. Right now we are at the Frankfurt Transportation Center. This is where you would get dropped off at in lower Northeast Philadelphia. This is where it begins. I'm gonna show you guys where hell under the L lies. Now the train station is also known as the L. E-L, the L, that's the nickname for it. So you might say, hey, I'm about to go catch the L to Center City. We're passing Pratt, we're on Frankfurt Avenue. Now is where we begin to see the blue line beams that hold up the train. Now, if you're new to 360 virtual reality and how it works, I'm gonna explain it to you. You can take your device, your mobile device, and move it left, right, up, down. You can look all around me at any given time. If you're watching on a television set, or you have a remote like a PlayStation, Xbox, and you're using a D-pad, you can press left, right, up, down, and look all around me. Same thing with a mouse. If you're on a computer with a mouse, you can click the arrows left, right, up, down, and look all around. Now, if you don't want to be that interactive, you can also swipe your screen and look around. However, personally, I like to get involved and move around. I think it's a cool feature. If the video quality looks a little bit fuzzy, make sure to adjust your video settings to the highest resolution. YouTube's automatically going to recommend you this video in the lowest quality possible. You can put it up to 4K resolution. We're passing Jefferson Health. This used to be Frankfurt Hospital in the Frankfurt neighborhood. So this is their local business strip. Yeah, pizzerias, salons, barbershops, Chinese stores, pet stores, hardware stores, mini markets, a lot of small privately owned businesses. We have Folk Rod, Folk Rod in Frankfurt. Now, one of the first neighborhoods that we see under this Market Frankfurt line is Frankfurt. Frankfurt used to be a prominent neighborhood. It's the historic Frankfurt. However, um, those days are of the past. There's still a lot of nice, beautiful architecture, more or less on the west side of the train. If you go to our right, that's the west. If you go to our left, that's the east. We're traveling south, behind us is the north. So if you go to our right, which is the west side of the Market Frankfurt line, those houses over there are really large, very historic looking. The houses on the east side of Frankfurt they're more like real homes and there's a large mixture of homes over here on my left hand side we're passing oxford ave these are train stops so if you ride the train you can get off at this stop over here the arid uh street uh, station we're traveling about 20 miles an hour we're going relatively slow we're below the required speed limit the same avenue was where there were a handful of shootings involving the SEPTA bus. Random SEPTA riders getting shot while riding the bus under this avenue. Most recently, we are approaching the 4500 block on my right hand side, right here at Philly Tech Nail Spa. If you look to our right, that salon, a PPA officer was just shot on the job, once in the ear, once on the right shoulder. He's in critical condition as of me shooting this video. He was shot right there on the job. We're next to the three and the five bus stop. We have Lee Andros Original Pizza House on our left. They got pizza wings, gyro, strombolis. I don't know how many of you guys like strombolis, but when I was growing up, I used to love strombolis. Love them. Cheesesteak stromboli, pizza stromboli, meatball stromboli. I used to love them. Okay, we're gonna hit this green light. Boom, green light. We're gonna continue traveling south. On our right hand side, it looks like we have St. Mark's uh, Church providing some services for the community. You have a bunch of senior citizens, older folks outside in the line. I'm assuming they're probably helping people with some sort of resource, maybe a food box, something of that nature. I'm gonna give a shout out to all the members. Thank you, thank you to all the members who join the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to continue 
traveling past Church Street. Now, some of these buildings on our left and on our right, the first floors, if they're open as a commercial business, usually the second and third floor are reserved for apartments. So there's people that actually live under the L. You have another train stop right here, church stop. Now we're passing Ron Street. Let's make this right hand turn. We're gonna be passing Romrath Park. I'm sorry, WOM, W-O-M-R-A-T-H. Walmrath, right here, because this is Walmrath Street. This is Walmrath Park. It's one of the first parks you see. Now, we crossed over to Kensington Ave. Right now, we're officially on Kensington Ave. We turn from Frankfurt to Kensington Ave. We're passing Adams Ave. Adams Avenue. We have a few automotive businesses on our left. Look at that classic on our left. Wow, that's beautiful. Used car dealerships on our right. Notice how the advertisement on my left says, I'm John Morgan. John, they're using the J-A-W and John slang. It's a Philadelphia slang word. He's trying to be hip and use that for his advertisement. Tires, brakes. These are the Walgreens here, they closed down. This intersection right here has been involved in several fatalities. There's been accidents here where people get into bad car accidents um, and they place memorials here. I believe in my lifetime, I recall two or three of them happening at this intersection. There used to be a KFC right there at that intersection on the corner on my left hand side. I used to go there with my pop when I was a kid. I think they closed it down. They turned to a Taco Bell or something. It was both. It was first it was like a KFC, then they made it like a 50-50. Now it looks like it might only be a Taco Bell. There was an all boys, uh, what was that a Catholic school over here? I don't know. I've I've never attended it. <clears throat> but they ended up closing it down for several years. And then, oh wow, they turned the Taco Bell into a crab du jour, a crab business. But they turned that in uh boys. Catholic school into, I believe, Mariana Versetti, which is another charter school. Texas Chicken on our right, Liberty Gas Station, $3.79 a gallon on our left. City Blue, I like to get discount deals from there. If you want to get like some name brand like Nike, Reeboks, Fila, New Balance, you want to get some cheap name brand, you can go to City Blue and get some pretty good deals. We're at Erie Torresdale train station, Erie Torresdale. In about two minutes, you're going to start seeing the layout changed. Um, we have the Junietta neighborhood on our right hand side. As we continue traveling forward, we're not only gonna approach Kensington, but we're also gonna pass the Harrogate neighborhood. Now Harrogate on our left and Kensington will be on our right. Harrogate and Kensington are two prominent areas of London in Europe, in the UK, if I'm correct, somewhere in Europe, there is a Kensington, a more prestigious um, residential area where where the wealthy live uh, called Kensington and there's also an area called Harrogate well our Harrogate and Kensington aren't so prestigious on our left we have what looks to be like a gentleman on a bicycle and a female waiting there she's scratching her head that I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be completely honest what that appears to be from my experience of driving through this avenue he's either her significant other or her pimp and he's gonna look out for her. She's standing on the side, waiting to get in someone's car, and he'll take note of the car she gets in just to provide some protection. I've been in an accident right here on this corner. These firefighters right here helped me in the time of that accident. I was in the backseat of somebody else's car, I almost flew through the front of the windshield, but I have some, some stitches. Well, I had stitches on my shin bone. I'm passing Airdrie. I had stitches on my shin bone because we smacked into that beam. The driver, my buddy who was driving, um, somebody swerved in front of him. He smacked into the beam. He was in an Infiniti G30. It was a G30, G, G20. I don't remember what, what G series it was. But he was in his little Infiniti, a four-door sedan, and he crashed into it. And I went to the hospital and everything. And that happened in my younger years. And I was probably like 20, 21, maybe 22. I'm 34 now. On our right-hand side, this is the Philadelphia boxer Danny Garcia's neighborhood. Junietta on our right. He's from literally like a block on my right hand side, like a block to our right. That's where he's from. He actually owns a boxing ring and a barber shop and detail shop on our left hand side, like a block or two to the left. So how ironic, he's from this neighborhood. He's originally from like Fairhill Badlands. His, his pop, Angel, is from that area. But how ironic, he's from here. When he made it big, he bought a business not far from his childhood home. So right here is normally a lot of 
women for hire. There's a lot of women that hang out under this avenue right here. Actually, there's one over there. She's over there and she's staring at cars. The way you can tell is that normally they catch eye contact with the drivers. So me, as a man, I'll drive through here. They'll catch eye contact with me. They'll wave, they'll smile. You can see from the rear view mirror, they'll like, they'll, they'll, they'll scope you out to see if you'll be interested in parking up and taking them on a date. I guess you can call them escorts. Not comparable to the escorts or to the women for hire I've seen in places like Washington, Aurora Ave in Washington, or Figueroa Street in Los Angeles and LA, California. Those women are a little bit more presentable. They're younger and a little bit more healthier. They're not uh, addicted to any substances. The women you would find under here, they would be addicted to substances. They would be a little bit on the rougher side. For example, there you go. There was another one. She was looking at me. And I looked at her for you guys, but she like did the whole eye contact with me. I could have made a U-turn and give her a beep beep, told her to come in the car, and what does she charge for her services, you know? Um, I hear that they're relatively cheap here. I've never personally partook in that activity myself, um, but I hear that it's like the cheapest of the cheapest. Now, to my knowledge, all right, so on our left, this is Harrogate Park. This is where the young woman who is on several other YouTube channels um, where she was burned at, shout out to Tommy, I'm talking with Tommy D. He has a lot of coverage on her situation. This is the park where she was burned at. That's the Harrogate neighborhood. We're actually borderline Harrogate and Kensington. Now, we're on Kensington Ave, but as we pass Ontario, we're now entering the Kensington neighborhood. So the boundaries are very light, and if you go a block to our left, that'll also be the Harrogate neighborhood. More to our right is Kensington. Look at this, some women over here. Now, not everybody is out here is what they call tricking. Not everybody out here is trying to sell themselves but you will see a handful of them out here throughout different times of the day it varies from month to month year to year season to season um there's been years where i've seen nobody out here for a couple months at a time we're passing cornwall lately there's been a lot of people out here a lot of women we passed another rest in peace memorial that was on my right we're now in the kensington neighborhood we're one block shy of the opioid epicenter of america and or philadelphia <laughs> So the Market Frankfurt Line, MFL, also called the Market Frankfurt Subway Elevated Line, MFSE. And Market Frankfurt L, or Blue Line, is one of three rapid transit lines in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It and its Broad Street Line are operated by SEPTA. And the Patco Speed Line is operated by Patco. So we're gonna continue moving forward. This is Westmoreland on our right-hand side. We have an ambulance right here. I'm gonna pull over. We're gonna give the ambulance the right away. Willard on our left hand side. I shot a music video over here on my left hand side at that corner. Shout out to Hood Stunt. All right, we're passing Madison. We have a sports bar on our left. And now, if you guys take a second to look around, you can slow down the footage too. You can adjust the speed that the video plays at and play it in the slowest resolution. Now, look around. Look left. Look right. Look all around me. This is Kensington and Allegheny. This is the epicenter. This is a dangerous intersection with traffic casualties, overdoses, and shootings. Look on our right-hand side. I'm, 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 I'm gonna slow down, because we have traffic. I'm gonna slow down right here. And now I'm gonna get right back into the traffic pattern. And on our right-hand side, you'll see that there's groups upon groups of people. Look at this female on our left. She's walking around with bunny ears. Wow, and she looks like she might be out here potentially up to uh, up to um, no good. I say that lightly. Passing Clementine, Clementine. But I've made note of this before. I've talked to you guys about this. Like you'll see some of the young females. They'll come out here, and they'll look relatively healthy. They don't look that distraught, worn down, or hurt. After several months under here, whoosh, you see them, and they change. They like they deteriorate right before your eyes. See these little quickie marks on my right hand side? This 24 hour convenience store. We never had those in this neighborhood until the last two or three years. And they're open 24 hours. And look at it. Look what sits out front of them. Look what sits out front of them on our right. Look at that. Those convenience stores also happen to sell things that these people can use. For example, 
one of the things that's sold in these smoke shops and these convenience stores are the little rose jars. Now, I don't know what the original intention of the rose um, tube was. I know the rose has been around since since the 90s, probably since the 80s. Um, but I believe that they utilize that. Ah, shout out to Los. Yeah, Moyo. Los, Empowering Cuts. That's his RV on my right-hand side. He has a Class C RV. Look at him. Check him out. And he provides homeless people with haircuts. He's a barber. I actually did a video with him five, six, seven years ago. I did a video for him promoting what he does. He picked up a homeless person. I documented it. I edited it up for him real nice. It's on my page, Empowering Cuts. And six years ago, he had an idea to put that into place. Six years ago, he, look at, they're giving out food over here on my left. Iglesia Pentecostal Church. And they're doing uh, prayers out here. We pass um, Needle Park, which is actually McPherson Square. But shout out to my boy, Moyo. He's a graffiti artist too. He actually came from graffiti, he came from the streets. He tatted, he, he's, he's been incarcerated. But when he came out, he came out with a new vision. He got his head right. Look at, we got people sleeping on the side, people sleeping on this side, tents out here. It really goes down on here, guys. And you got people like that who come from the neighborhood. I'm so happy that he has that because I know how bad he wanted to do that. And I believe he probably opened up a nonprofit organization because, I mean, that's the only foreseeable way where I can see him, you know, make some long-term um, income from it. But his root isn't always income. His I know he's also a skilled barber who gives from his heart and he's cutting people's hair for free, which is dope. I was happy to see that out there. The other day I drove through there, there was a food truck giving away food. Now he's giving away haircuts. That's awesome. We're passing D Street. We're on Somerset. They shot the Rocky movie right here. One of the latest ones, they shot one right here. There's been fights under here, shootings under here, robberies under here. They've cleaned it several dozen times. You got the Rock Ministries on our left. You have, again, more homeless people out here, more people who are... Um, battling substance abuse on our left hand side is the block where rocky was also shot at part one one of the later rockies part four or five was shot up the block on somerset one of the first ones right here was shot right here on this left hand side on this block tusculum now we're going under oh ban i see you bro oh ban and forever i see uh their graffiti up top look at look at look at look at look on my left and look on my right guys so they've cleaned this out several times um Look, they're giving away free water on my left hand side. Look, there's people out here giving away food, guys. Food and water. Look at on my left hand side. These are church people. You can tell because they wear the long skirts. Pentecostals usually Pentecostal. Pentecostal is a part of the Christian faith. They is one of the denominations. They usually come out and they pray. They give people food, water, drinks, and all of that. They, they make it a part of their mission. We're passing Lehigh. Now we're entering a different part of Kensington. This, there's there's not much opioid usage over here. Um, some prostitution trickles over here on my left-hand side on Albert Street and on Harold right here. There's actually people out here. But on my right-hand side, we have the West Kensington neighborhood. On my left-hand side, we have East Kensington. There's a couple people over there hanging out that aren't women, which is surprising. But we're at Kensington and Huntingdon. We have Kensington Mini Market on our right-hand side. That's relatively new. Um, there's... A lot of Asian businesses on this hundred block of Kensington Ave. There's many, many Asian businesses. This is the 2500 block of Kensington Ave. Plenty of Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, and so on businesses under here. From salons to eateries. On our left hand side, remember I said Mariana Bersetti moved to the Catholic school, the boys Catholic school in the Northeast? Boom. This was where it was originally at. Now it's Brightside Academy. They repurposed the building. This was the original Kelly's Corner Mall, the local mall for this neighborhood back in the day when I was a youngster. This is that family dollar that's always getting robbed as of lately. It's a new family dollar. It wasn't here 10 years ago. They made it recently, but it's always getting targeted. I'm gonna allow this uh, Mazda to continue moving forward. You, you wanna go, bro? So the Market Frankfurt line runs from 69th Street Transportation Center in Upper Darby, just outside of West Philadelphia, through Center City, Philadelphia, to the Frankfurt Transportation Center near Northeast Philadelphia, with more than 170,000 boardings daily. So there used to be a furniture business right here. He sold his, his, his property. He was there for quite some time, but there used to be a giant gorilla out here. He used to have a, a guy in a gorilla suit give out uh, pamphlets and like brochures to uh, buy his products. This is Hunter Elementary School on our right. 
that was once uh, before they built Hunter Elementary. We're passing York Street. They shot Transformers movie right under here. Oh, and didn't they shot like 21 Monkeys or something under here too? Um, I have a vehicle behind me that is rushing me. So I'm going to move over just so that they can go by because he's more concerned about passing us. This is Front Street. This is a very popular, at one point, was a popular business uh, front avenue that I used to shop at when I was a kid. And now it's not what it used to be. It changed a lot. But gentrification has hit this neighborhood heavy and it will be revitalized and it is being revitalized right now as we speak. Not only did they shoot Transformers over there, they shot one scene for Transformers, the Transformers movie, Michael Bay's movie, around the corner right there. The original Rocky boxing gym is on the next block. And then after that block, they also shot the other movie, Shooters, with Mark Wahlberg. There's a scene where Danny Glover is driving under, Danny Glover, the actor, is driving, we passed Dolphin Street. West Kensington Library was on our right-hand side. Uh, Danny Glover drove right under this, right here, and they showed this in the background. There's a tattoo studio on my right. They showed, and as you can see, there's a lot of lots, because a lot of the businesses that were here got bought out, and getting knocked down, and repurposed. That fine fair on my right, they closed it a couple years ago. It was a fine fair supermarket. It used to be an original Pet Boys. We're past the Susquehanna. They just made that vegan parlor on my right. They sell bagels and all of that. On our left, this is the Rocky Boxing Gym on our left, and it's available for lease. This is Stelio's Pizzeria on my left behind me. Stelio's was where they shot the bar scene for Rocky. This is where Rocky fought. Rocky fought right here in part one in that movie where the Scepter bus is driving this way. On the right-hand side, if you look, you'll see an empty lot. You see this empty lot? That used to be the the pet shop in the Rocky movie. I used to go to that pet shop when I was a little kid. I used to get pets from there, like hamsters, gerbils, iguanas, and all that stuff. So, as we leave the West Kensington to our right and East Kensington neighbor to our left, now, remember, there's four Kensingtons. You have South Kensington, which is in front of us, but it's, you have to skip a neighborhood. Um, because there's North Square that lies in between West Kensington and South Kensington. Some people can consider North Square part of West Kensington too because originally, but on our left, we got Harvest and Dairies. They repurposed that factory. There's a bunch of new buildings. They, they knocked down the, the garage that was here. They're making new, I mean, these million dollar buildings, these half million dollar buildings back to back inviting new residents from all walks of life. I gotta be careful, there's a pothole. From all walks of life. This building on my left, brand spanking new. Buildings on my right, brand spanking new. These lots, they're empty now. They will be filled. New building on our left. Brand new buildings on our right. New building on our left. Mind you, East Kensington, West Kensington. They're investing a lot of money on the lower Kensingtons, especially Old Kensington, which is in front of us. We'll hit there shortly. After you pass Norris Street, now you enter a different zone. On our left-hand side, you have Fishtown. We don't get until we don't get towards Old Kensington until Montgomery. We have not passed Montgomery yet. We're still on Burks, so this can still be classified as Norris Square. But on our left, we have Kensington High School, Kensington um, Kappa High School, which is Creative and Performing Arts High School. This is their field on our left. That used to be a big empty lot. This high school wasn't here before. The original Kensington is around the corner, a couple minutes away. This is a brand new school they made within the last decade and a half. New buildings on my right. New buildings on my right. New buildings. This is Kensington right here. Check it out. That's their campus. It's a beautiful school. I've never attended it. If it was there when I was when I had an option to go to school, then I would have went. Yo, is that the new Integra? Oh, I thought that was a new Acker Integra because they brought out the new Acker Integra. Well, they brought out the Integra again. Montgomery. All right. As we pass Montgomery, now on our right hand side, that's Old Kensington. Old as in O-L-D-E. Don't ask me why they added the E at the end. I guess they were trying to be fancy. But this is the old Kensington neighborhood to our right. To our left is the Fishtown neighborhood. Now, Fishtown predominantly is uh, white Americans and or Caucasian, whatever you want to consider uh, yourselves. Uh, the white Americans from this neighborhood dominated Fishtown for many, many years. Even up, to, up until this day, the hipsters that are moving in are still white Americans. Now you do have some black Americans moving in, some Asians, some Indians, people from all walks of life, but it's still primarily a Caucasian neighborhood. You see you have some dog walkers on our left. Um, Cecil B. Moore. Okay, I apologize. Not Montgomery, Cecil B. Moore. Cecil B. Moore is just, you, you have somebody rushing me, so I'm just gonna go a little bit slower for them. Just since they wanna rush me, I'm gonna go a little bit slower for them because beeping me doesn't make me go any faster. Beeping at me. We're passing Oxford. So, Old Kensington is on my right. I'm sorry guys, I'm doing this like on the run, so I'm trying to 
let me let me pull over so that this person can go by. All of that just to make a right. You see how impatient people could be? Impatient. Impatient to make a right. But um, yeah guys, so this is Fishtown on our left. Old Kensington on our right. It takes me a lot to process this information because you know I'm seeing so many different details, so many different things I want to talk about. I can't talk about them all at one given time because I got people behind me rushing and we're in a moving vehicle. So there's only so much information that I can retain at any given time. Or regurgitate, I should say. Grooming board, a grooming business. The businesses start to change, the eateries start to get more uh uh a hipsterish, ritzy quote unquote yuppie-ish. I know a lot of people use the term, they say yuppies are moving to this neighborhood. I don't refer to them as that, but I'm just um, quoting what other people call them. The L bar on our right, and we have more eateries on our left. There's a plant-based eatery that I've eaten here before uh, coming up. There's a bunch of new buildings on our right. That whole block over there, Hope Street, all those houses wasn't there, brand new houses. And these buildings over here, they're not cheap. You see a BMW just came out of this property right here, a, a, a late model. These houses or these, these buildings that they're selling, $500,000, $600,000, $700,000. On the low end, you're talking about $350,000, $400,000 for a row home. Or even better yet, a piece, in a piece of an apartment or something or some type of loft, some luxury, luxury apartment. Look on our left. This is the place that I've eaten at before. I've eaten a plant-based uh, uh, breakfast special there. Look, you got a gentleman riding a road bike with his son on front. They both have helmets, which is fantastic. That is awesome. KFN, another bar, tire shops, the Middle Child Cafe, Bar and Array, more bars, cafes, cafes, auto pressure detailing. And there's still more things opening. Like there's gonna be a brewery opening there, Sushi Raymond. So as you can see, when we traveled south under the L, as you can see, the demographics changed. It's probably not as clean. It's, it's not that clean. But you can see, like, the people that are moving around here are conscious. They're not, like, out of it. They're not spaced out. It's a lot of working class people, people traveling to and from work, um, from school, things like that. So on our left is the end of, no, BS. You got another block or so. But on our left is Fishtown. On our right is the end of Old Kensington. AKA South Kensington, because it's south of the rest of the Kensingtons. We're crossing Gerard Avenue right now. As we cross Gerard Avenue, on our right-hand side is now a different neighborhood called Northern Liberties. On our left-hand side is still Fishtown. That's why I said BS. Sometimes I have to cor correct myself. This is a brand new building being made on our left. All brand new buildings on our right. We got the Carvana giant vending machines over here on our left-hand side. Carvana vending machines. So you can get a car from a vending machine passing Wildy or Wildy right here a giant vending machine guys this is where we first got this at I think this is the first one in the city and you see it when you're passing on the train and you're passing on the highway and it's not far from Delaware Avenue so this is where the blue line train ends. you can't drive under it anymore it now merges to an underground a subway and it goes under Center City until it comes out where it goes to West Philadelphia 